When I think back on it, I have always been curious about the natural world. Derek Pitt's curiosity about science began as a kid on this block of Pacific Street in the nice town Tioga section of Philadelphia. I've always wanted to try to understand why is that the way it is? How does that work? Did that drive your parents a little crazy? <laughs> a lot of questions. Yeah, it did. Did you have role models at school who kind of nurtured your curiosity? I had a science teacher named Beth Scholl. She was my eighth grade science teacher. She really lit the fire in me to pursue a career in science because she was a chemist. She wasn't just a teacher, she was an actual chemist. So I would put on science demonstrations for all the students in the school at assembly programs. And blew things up. Yeah, I would make volcanoes and demonstrate, you know, <laughs> how flares worked and, you know, all sorts of things like that. Were there role models beyond school that you looked to, or were they difficult to find? They were extremely difficult to find. I was going to give you a one-word answer, no, but they were extremely difficult to find. I could not point to a scientist of color that I knew of at the time that was in my community. Pitt's father, though, was a radar technician for the Air Force. And it was space exploration, missions he saw on TV, that really sent his dreams aloft. I would have preferred to be an astronaut. That's what I really wanted to do. I really wanted to go to space. But Pitt's love of the universe helped him soar in his own way, becoming the chief astronomer and planetarium director at the Franklin Institute where he's worked for more than four decades. We can see that Mars is dead ahead right there. You can see it without any difficulty at all. Named one of the 50 most important blacks in research science with a Twitter handle, at Cool Astronomer. It's nice to see you. I haven't seen you since I was in the Franklin Institute. Thanks for straightening, thanks for straightening that out about where it is. It's in Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah, good. Anxious to spread his love of science to a broad audience. Talk to me about what the best part of your job is at the Institute, would you say? The best part of my job at the Franklin Institute is sharing my enthusiasm about science. The people that I encounter, I want them to understand. I want them to feel empowered that they too can understand complex science. But here are the winter constellations right over here in the southeastern portion of the sky. It's not just for some egghead, it's for you too. Dr. Derek Pitts. Well, don't forget to join us tomorrow night at 7.30 for an NBC10 special celebrating black excellence. We'll introduce you to people who are changing the world and paving the way for the future.